the whole engine. But I'm going to explain two parts that are very important. And if you don't call them out the way the inspector wants, your butt is going to be grass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, on a class C bus, uh, first we're going to do the steering parts. And on a class C bus like this, it's kind of hard to see the steering. But so as long as you say it, they can give you the points, okay? So um, what you want to say about the steering is you want to point out the steering shaft, which is over here. Say clean, not cracked or broken, no missing or loose parts in any way. But then it goes down to the linkage. On a class B bus, being the hood opens a different way and you can turn your steering wheel, you would see actually see the linkage. But even on this kind of bus, it's kind of hard to see the linkage. So I will explain it. What you want to tell the inspector is this. It's a three-piece steering linkage. I'm going to say the pitman arm, drag link, and knuckles are held in place by castle pins and cotto keys. Then the shaft goes down to what looks like it's like a round thing, but it's called your steering gearbox. Tell the inspector the steering gearbox is not leaking, no missing or loose parts, and they'll give you the points. The next thing about the engine that's very, very important is this thing called the serpentine belt. It's right over here. This engine is belt driven. The serpentine belt you want to tell the inspector there's no more than three quarter inch play at the center of tension. I mean, when you pluck it here, if there is, the belt is loose and God willing, you will have all kind of fluid leaking all over the place. So the belt actually wraps around four things that are important to you. The first thing is the alternator right here. You want to tell the inspector the alternator securely mounted to the frame of the bus, no missing or loose parts. The alternator charges the battery. Then if you follow that belt around, it comes down to this thing here, which is called the water pump. Water pump, again, securely mounted to the frame of the bus, not leaking, no missing or loose parts. Then if you follow the belt around continuously, down here, this is kind of hard to see again on this bus, but there's a thing called the compressor right over here. Compressor, same thing, securely mounted to the frame of the bus, no missing or loose parts. Now you do not have to crawl under the bus, but I'll explain, that belt goes under the bus, okay, and then it comes up over here to your, this thing is called your power steering pump. Again, securely mounted to the frame of the bus, no missing or loose parts, and not leaking. That's, your, that's part of your st steering as well. You can explain it there or with your steering to get the points. Remember, failure to call that stuff out, you guys gotta come back again. So know it like inside out.